Hello everyone, earlier this week the new patch 4.6 Abyss Saga released so I think now is a good time to do a full floor 12 run with the new character Arlequino. And obviously this Saga is very favored towards Pyro characters, a lot of Cryo Shield to break with the Icewind Suit, the Cryo Gunner and the Inquisitor with the Cryo and Hydro Shield but also Pyro Shield so you get a lot of value if you play a Vaporized team into him. And then I think the biggest time obstacle this one, this uh, floor is the Abyss Lecture. He obviously takes a lot of time because you need to break their shields to defeat them. So you need a lot of like off field uh, elemental application to help out with um, with that. So usually I would pick a Vaporous team with Kazua here, but my Kazua is Constellation too, so I don't feel like that's uh, fair to claim that it's a free to play friendly setup. So I'm actually going to pick Toma here and Xingxiu and where's Bennett and then in the first half I'd like to play Navia so I use her with double electro just to feed her a lot of shards and then Zhongli to get the resonance. In the first half it's basically only about uh, them being nice and lining up for, uh, for the elemental skill of Navia oh. for the elemental skill of Navia so you can save, save a little bit of time. Kind of awkward, one of them teleported all the way over there. Maybe this is fine. Yeah, I hit all three there. Might do it again here. Yep. I will save Navia skill here, a bear skill here. I wanna have it at the beginning of the next chamber. Even though I slow down here a lot. I think that was worth it. Then Alekino's rotation is pretty simple, just the elemental skill at the beginning to apply the blood depths and then they upgrade to blood depth use once you get back to her and can use the charge attack to um, absorb them to get the higher infusion. Kill the gunners first because they otherwise get their shield. Oh, that was lucky. And obviously, um, the burst skill, I feel like it's good enough if you just use it for healing, but obviously you can also, if you want to do the maximum damage, do the whole um, combo with the elemental skill into burst skill into elemental skill with Alekino. But it's not really necessary. I feel like it's not a crazy big damage increase. Also, my element is uh, my burst skill. Sorry, is still level six, so it's even less of a priority right now. Oh, they have the whole bleed mechanic. I also forget, forget about that. <laughs> Okay, that was decent. Now the next chamber is not too bad, honestly. It's the um, Capellius boss. I think with this team you can basically just face tank everything with uh, high HP Zhongli and just yeah, basically just kill him. <laughs> there was the cryo shield. It breaks super fast. Oh. Wow. He actually broke Jungle's shield, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I guess you still have to take a little bit um, care. I didn't crit there, that's unlucky. I think my Navi has 80% chance.
I get sub one minute here, I feel pretty good about the whole lecture thing that I was talking about. So I have two minutes to do this uh, again. I hope they give me favor and stack up on, on me quickly. That was not good, I'm not gonna lie. That was quite bad. Yeah. If this one dies in like the next 10 seconds, uh, I think it's looking okay. Okay, it's looking okay. I think you can kind of push them into each other if you're lucky. Not like that, that was really bad. <laughs> Guess I try again with this one. Okay, I got it done. <laughs> Took a little bit of time though. Okay, it still worked out. I was a little bit worried there since the uh, the first uh, triple Fatui guys were a little bit slow, but it was good enough. So these guys should ideally die before anything happens. Specifically before they get their shield. Uh, please don't do anything. Oh. Messed up my rotation, I think. <laughs> Should be fine though. Actually, now my rotation's all over the place. My Dury is complete, completely off sync. <laughs> well, whatever. I think everything should die here. Yep. Nice. And now this last one. I think I actually forgot what this. Oh yeah, right. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, it's kind of bad. I guess my Jingxiao Rain Swords might break it. I really need a Spear Skull there. I said his burst until this breaks. Oh, come on. No, I use Jingxiao. Get the vaporize going. I honestly use the bear skill here for damage. Oh, so close. <laughs> yeah, ironically, the last chamber is actually the easiest one <laughs> this time around. But anyway, I show the build really quick and then. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I switched to a little bit more of a free-to-play setup. 
Obviously, she doesn't really need energy recharge. Some elemental mastery is nice for the vaporized damage, but obviously the crit crit damage is still the most important stat. Pyro damage bonus. It depends whether you play Bennett or not. It's it might be more beneficial. Oh yeah, I don't have a um, what's it called white tassel, so I use the missive wind spear, and then just gladiator set for now. I don't have the new set, obviously, not yet at least, and then. I think Pyro damage bonus is good. If you don't play Bennett, attack percentage might be actually a better choice. And then crit crit damage, whichever one is better here. And constellation C0. And for now, 966. I think I will actually crown this before I work on the other skills. I don't think they are super important for now. But anyway, um, I think that's it for Alekino videos for me. So probably the next one is at... I, of course, the um, patch 4.7 livestream coverage. Otherwise, maybe I do something before I don't have any plans yet. Stay tuned for that. Until then, have fun and bye-bye.